Welcome back to Let's Play Indigo Prophecy. Uh, first, let's start off with Carla's insight. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Um, yeah, we're still at Doc's Diner and playing as Carla, the investigator, with... How's it going, McCarthy? Yeah. Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Uh, let's ask about Martin. <laughs> what were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Okay, huh? Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Uh, how? How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. How about the, no, not the body, the table. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. How very kind of you. Okay, so it says here, when this symbol appears at the top of the right screen, you can switch characters. Press the B button any time to switch characters. So, for Carla here, we can switch on to Tyler, her assistant, in the investigation. First off, let's talk to these guys. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Not yet. We're going to talk to what Kate here. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Uh, victim. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. You? No, it's just... Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Someone else? Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Behavior. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. John suspect. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Any motive? No, actually. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit, the weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Before. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. 
I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh, my God. Cheer up. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Uh, was John's bizarre? Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. Yeah, good night. <laughs> Well then, we got what we wanted from the witness, from Kane. Um, let's see. Let's talk to Tyler. Tyler? Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Clues, anything? Did you find anything, Tyler? Well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Yeah, keep those eyes open. Oh, God, there. Oh, yeah, there's something I kind of forgot to mention. If you want to go on a first-person... Uh, no, not first-person shooter. I mean, first-person perspective, you press on the white button of... Wait, no, the black button. Yes, you gotta go on the black button. Just gotta hold it and move your left thumbstick around and see. Am I making you dizzy now? Haha. <laughs> I'm just gonna check out this table here. Hmm. Huh. Where's his fork? But where's the knife? Where is the knife? Oh well, the coffee's not on the bill. The coffee? They're on the bill. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict. Or else, he wasn't alone. Caffeine addict. Something on the floor. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. I want to Garrett, it. there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. <laughs> yeah, Garrett just, like, you know, turned around. Just to suspect something was going on around the table. <laughs> or maybe he was, <laughs> you all know, sneaking a look on. Uh, no, she's not even wearing skirts. Never mind that. Let's get in there. Uh, time is limited. Okay, well, let's see here. Hello. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. It kind of looks like he has poop on his face. <laughs> kind of funny. Anything here? Oh. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. 
Not likely. But get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Indeed. No well. trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Maybe he hit the knife in there. No, it doesn't seem like it. I'm not even sure what he's trying to do in there. <laughs> uh, hmm. What else should we look for? Nothing here. Man, stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Maybe. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Yeah, I need one. <laughs> Oh wait, <laughs> there's also the mirror thing, oh wait, what, oh yeah, mirror, ah, you'll often see her do that when you just, um, look on the mirror and stuff, <laughs> ah, I feel that we haven't really checked on the murder weapon yet, Let's just go outside, or maybe she already mentioned the, the, I don't know, Check in there again. Huh. Well, I guess we did mention it. Uh, but there's also a back door. Who knew? Anything here? Ah, uh, nothing. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. Wow. All right. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Yeah, you just wanna go outside, then Tyler just stays in there. But for now, there's this hobo around here that we should check then. Hi. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, have you seen anything? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Advice. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have them come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone. I'm just fine. I don't... Okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Every action you choose there has some emotional effect to the character. I saw someone! Alright. Yeah, or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back. Or, uh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> look who's talking. You're the one with the beer bottle on your hands. God. Well then, I, I don't think you can get back in here in this way. Yeah. <laughs> the door only opens from the inside. Oh dear. I'm stressed. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can always get in from the front door, right? <laughs> That's the only way you can get in. Wow. He was right. That is the only way you can get in. Uh, so, for now... I suppose we could switch. See, now you're, uh, once you press B, you're now controlling Tyler, and Tyler can do anything. You could, whoa, okay. Hey, Garrett, Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> you look hammered, Tyler. 
Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Yeah, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Yeah. <laughs> stubborn girl indeed. Good. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Martin says this was the guy's table. Okay, um, so might as well try finding that um, murder weapon. It's gotta be somewhere around here. And we're not. Oh, look at that. Something's on the trash. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Yeah, they'll definitely find his prints. No, I don't want to go to the toilet. I, I don't want to go to the toilet. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Yeah, he wasn't after anybody's money. He's a well-off guy, we can tell. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right, I get it. I'll take care of it. <laughs> yeah, you'll take care of it. <clears throat> we found the murder weapon. Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Okay, so with that... Oh, wait. Uh, is there anything else? We, oh, yeah. Let's get out the door first. Hey, gonna, Carla, I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. We're gonna investigate everything until before this video ends, and before... I mean, yeah. Investigate everything. Yo. What do you want? I'm a police detective. I'm investigating a murder that took place in that restaurant. I was wondering if... Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> right, thank you. You've been helpful. Yeah, pretty helpful. Hey, wait, there's the fire. Uh, yeah, there's lots of things, well, a limited amount of things that you can interact with. <laughs> Just as David Cage from the tutorial has sold us, and uh, yeah. This can get me more stressed. Oh, man, that's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. I'm still anxious, sadly enough, but I believe we're done for the day. Unless... Yeah, I probably can't talk to him again. This is the window from the toilets in the restaurant. Indeed, it is. Yep, can't talk to him anymore, so we're just gonna head out again. This game is pretty filled with cutscenes, so you won't really find me talking that much because, you know, people are here. I believe we should go, because we found everything we wanted, right? But, oh yeah, we've got... Oh, looks like we can't. Looks like we can't ask them to cooperate. We're gonna talk to Carly and leave. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Uh, no, we should... No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. I'm going to stop here for now since I'm going a little bit over time. Um, so yeah, see you next time on Indigo Prophecy.